Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul, in case you're new here. We are here to do a pop-up reading and today's pop-up is going to be a doozy, okay? Um, we're gonna do a reading on your person's current perception of things versus reality, basically, of what's going on with them, you, and your connection. So I've gone ahead and gotten three piles out for us. Over here on the left, we have your person's perspective of themselves, how they're currently viewing themselves, essentially. Same here, but this is for the connection. We have two archetypes representing how they view the connection at this time. And then lastly, over here on the right, we have their perception and view of you, how they're viewing you at this time. Now we're gonna chat about this, and then we're gonna kind of do um, a perception from them versus reality. So after we're done chatting about this spread, I'm going to pull one and one per each pile again and kind of chat about what's actually going on. This reading may be a little bit different than my traditional pop-up reading styles. In fact, I'm feeling called to leave it kind of open-ended. So we're gonna see where it goes. We're on this adventure together today, I suppose. I felt a calling to do this specific type of reading, so I'm gonna leave it free-flowing and kind of take it from there. So, but that's my intention to get us started. Let's first chat about how your person is viewing themselves at this time. They're being represented as the ocean and the secondary or clarifier archetype is the venom, okay? Now keep in mind, this whole thing is coming from your person's viewpoint. It may or may not be accurate. We're going to get like the reality out during this next portion, okay? So when it comes to your person and how they are viewing themselves right now, I can tell you that they are doing a really deep dive into who they are. And unfortunately, it seems like they are heavily fixated on their own wounds, insecurities, and um, maybe just the more negative side to themselves, or at least from their perspective, simply because we have a card representing something very vast, mysterious, and deep, with a secondary archetype being something, um, I mean, it's the venom, it's toxic, it's poisonous. So to me, this is saying that at least right now, whenever you're watching this, your person is kind of having a lot of their shadows surface up to the top. Um, maybe they don't understand why they do the things they do or say the things that they say when they get heated or when it's like in the heat of the moment, if the two of you are arguing or, you know, maybe if they have a tendency to push you away, for example, um, they're, they're really trying to understand what is going on within them. Um, and I feel like as human beings, it's inherent that we're not perfect. You know, most of us do have wounds or insecurities or things that we're not particularly happy about. Um, and it's always like a learning curve. We're always learning. We're always growing, evolving, and healing things. But at this particular moment in time, it really seems like your person is just dwelling on this. And they have an overall kind of like upset view of themselves. Um, I think they recognize that they themselves are a very, very deep person and that maybe some of these wounds and shadows um, are coming from within that they hadn't seen before. So it could be that maybe this person is in a bit of a hermit mode or they're just doing a lot of self-reflection. Could also be that they're going through a bit of an awakening or maybe the universe has been sending them a lot of signs and downloads to unearth some of this stuff. Um, Basically, bottom line, the way your person views themselves is that there is some darkness within them that they couldn't see before, that they're having unearthed, that they're trying to understand, and um, they're kind of going in circles over that at this time. Unfortunately, it seems like they have a more negative viewpoint on themselves right now, um, and they're, they're basically just recognizing how deep of a person they really are. So another thing I do want to note is that maybe your person tended to think they were a little bit more on the shallow side before or superficial, you know, the type of person that's, it's like, you, you get what you see, you see what you get. Um, they might not have been able to recognize their own emotional depths before. And so this is all new to them. Um, and maybe one of the things they're fixating on is their darker side for some reason, because especially if this was like, if this person tends to be very easygoing, upbeat, 
um, laid back, to have these darker notes come up to the surface for them to recognize is really difficult on them right now. They're not liking it. They're not having a good time. Although if this is happening, it's probably happening for a reason, for their highest good, I would assume. Um, and it's something that the universe is doing to help them heal and to recognize um, that you don't have to be perfect to be deserving of love and affection from others. Now, let's hop into the way they're viewing the connection at this time. This is quite interesting, and in fact, I'm gonna pull a tarot card, I think, just to get some more clarity on this, because this combination is an intense one, and it could be taken in two completely opposite directions. <laughs> so I wanna make sure that I'm getting you the very most accurate information I can. Although, judging by the way they see you, I already have essentially come to this conclusion. So you know what, actually, hold up a second reframe this. I'm going to talk about how they're viewing you and then we're going to chat about this. Okay. So my bad, you guys, like I said, this is going to be kind of a free flowing in and out reading. Anyway, how they're viewing you, we have the kiss and we have the ring. Okay. Um, the kiss is your primary archetype with this being the clarifier. What this tells me is that this person feels a lot of, um, like physical attraction towards you. They see you as somebody who is very, very magnetic to them physically. However, I do really want to note for you that that's not the only thing that they see here at all whatsoever, because where this talks about a more physical and sensual connection, this talks about like an, a permanence, an eternity. It's also interesting that we have the ring and the vow, okay? So I'm going to note that in a moment here. But essentially what this is telling me is that this person genuinely views you as somebody who is meant to be in their life, you're destined to be in their life, and they take you as a person being in their life and this connection very seriously. This isn't something that's just a, a sensual or passionate connection to them. This is something that would be able to stand the test of time, and they view you as somebody who is incredibly devoted to whatever you set your mind to, um, and again, somebody who's also very like magnetically attractive to this person. Um, it could be that there's just a lot of passion exchanged between the two of you, or they feel that really strongly. It's almost as if they get like, almost like a high or a boost of energy off of just being around you to a certain degree. And they can't like not associate you with that type of energy just because you're almost like borderline addictive to this person. Um, and not necessarily in a bad way. I just feel like this is something that they're just really experiencing for the first time with you, possibly this level of attraction and magnetism. Um, they may have never experienced before. So there's like a newness to it. Either that or it's just really strong and they pick up on that really quickly about you that you just in general are a magnetic person and they just so happened to be extra, extra drawn into you. I don't know how to put this, you guys. Um, but they also take this connection incredibly seriously. They take you as a person very seriously. They feel like you are dedicated not only to them and this relationship, this connection, but to literally whatever you set your mind to. Um, you don't let anything hold you back. You're the type of person where when you devote yourself to a cause or a person or a mindset, you're in it until the very end. You're just a very devoted, committed type of individual. And I think they really appreciate that about you a lot. They respect that about you quite a bit. Um, now hopping over here, and yes, I will pull a tarot card or two to get some more clarity out. Um, we have the shapeshifter and the vow. And the reason I want to get that out, however I'm leaning more towards this direction, is because it could be taken in two different directions, right? We have a changing element. Your person is viewing this connection as something that is shifting and changing pretty majorly, with the secondary being the vow, a deep commitment, um, something that goes beyond time and space, something that's very faded and permanent very reminiscent of the ring energy, just slightly different. This is almost like a spoken or unspoken commitment that this connection has within itself that the two of you have made with each other, yet something is shifting and changing. So I am going to pull a clarifier card. However, just based on how your person is viewing you, I assume it would be taken in more of the positive direction, as in this person believes that this connection is shifting into a higher level of commitment versus going backwards, okay? 
So let me pull a couple of tarot cards, at least one. Um, what else can you tell me about the way this person is viewing the connection right now, please? Spiritual team, what else can you tell me about the way this person is viewing the connection? Can you please clarify the two archetype cards for me? Whoa. Okay, so hold on a second, you guys, because we had a couple come out and I need to reshuffle them because that was like way too many. So hold on a second. Okay. Please, spiritual team, give me one or two cards to kind of clarify how this person is viewing the connection at this time. The shapeshifter with the vow, please. Okay, beautiful. So we have the Six of Cups, which is telling me that this person is viewing this connection as, yes, like I was suspecting something that's shifting to like a higher level of commitment with one another. Um, it might even be that this person, the way they're viewing this connection itself in a more, in a, in a turn of events, <laughs> I don't know how to put this right now, um, maybe this person didn't believe in past lives or something like that before they met you. Um, and that's kind of how they're viewing this now, which is very interesting to me, um, which would make sense why they're viewing you as somebody who is a permanent staple in their life. Um, somebody who's going to be there for the long run, maybe even beyond this lifetime. So this is actually taking a turn in a way that I didn't expect. Yeah, definitely they're viewing this connection as something that is evolving in a positive direction, something that is growing and deepening um, in devotion and commitment to one another. But not only that, they're having a complete view chain viewpoint change of what it means to have a connection with another person as is maybe before they met you they did not believe in soul connections or something like that i honestly would be surprised if they haven't done research into this or if the two of you haven't had a conversation about this in the past simply because that's the message i'm getting here you feel like home to this person you feel familiar to this person and so does this connection in ways that um, they might not understand. There's something about like a revisitation um, and cycles going on here that your person is recognizing that it's changing this connection and it's something that they've already, they, they have like a familiarity with it right now, basically is what I'm trying to explain that might even go beyond this lifetime. Um, anyway, that's very interesting. What I'm going to do now is Get some cards out about what the reality is of what's going on here. So bear with me as I move my decks around and I get some cards shuffled out for us. I am going to reshuffle those cards back in just so we start from square one. Talk to me about this person's actual archetype, please. The reality, not just how they're seeing themselves, but what is this person's current archetype, please? And if you're enjoying this reading so far, if you're resonating with it, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. Stick around for more readings in the future. Okay, we have the river. That's interesting. Two watery elements as their primary card. So maybe this person is a water sign or they're just very emotional right now. They're embodying a lot of watery energy. How about this connection? Talk to me about this connection's current archetype, please. What is the archetype of this connection? Okay, so we have the heart. And then how about the viewer, please? Okay, and you are getting the sustainer. Okay, now let's get out the secondary archetypes just to get additional info. I like to give detailed information to you guys. Talk to me about this person, please this person and their secondary archetype or clarifying archetype, please. Yeah, there's a lot changing within their emotions right now. I'm telling you, like, they're going through a really powerful emotional change at this time. Okay, I'm going to elaborate on that after I get the rest of the cards pulled. Talk to me about the archetype of this connection, the secondary or clarifying archetype of this connection, please. Talk to me about the secondary 
Hold on a second. Medallion, that's interesting. Okay. Ooh. All right, now how about the viewer? Talk to me about the viewer's secondary archetype, please. Interesting. Okay. So what I'm getting from this, let's start, let's start with your person again. That's what I'm feeling called to do. We have them being represented in reality. Remember the last spread was their perception of things, how they were viewing each of these elements. This is like what's really going on under the surface. So it seems like your person is actually self-aware, very much self-aware and accurate with their perception of themselves versus what the reality is because um, very similar energies are coming through. However, your person does have like a bit of a darker twist on themselves than what's actually going on, okay? Which would make sense because they're being represented by the river and the seed. Right now, your person is going through a huge emotional change, okay? Their emotions are flooding in like never before. They're having all of these revelations come through about themselves and the world and this connection and just everything in general, but particularly themselves. Um, and right now, the issue, the reason why they're seeing so much darkness within themselves is because they're resisting the flow. They're resisting the changes. They're resisting the current. And they're kind of like backpedaling or pedaling upstream against the current, resisting this to a certain degree because the energy that's building up within them right now is very, very intense. And I feel like this person is really misunderstanding what this energy is. Um, it's overwhelming to them and it's freaking them out. And so it's like they're picking one or two things that are being revealed to them to overly fixate on. Um, it, almost like as a scapegoat, it's kind of giving me like scapegoat energy. Like this person doesn't, it, they're just, they have a lot of resistance to this change and this energetic shift that they're going through right now. And so unfortunately they're focusing on the more negative side of themselves instead of seeing themselves from like an aerial view um, and the bigger picture, but basically, yeah, what your person's going through right now is a huge energetic shift. They're having a lot of their emotions come up to the surface that they're resisting. And there's an element of them resisting these huge changes that are trying to happen within them. I'm going to take a sip of water real quick, you guys, because I'm getting winded with all this chatting. Hold on a second. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now when it comes to the connection, or you know what, why not? Let's just follow the same pattern I followed with the last reading just to keep it easy. We'll chat about how they're viewing you. Or I mean, what is actually going on within you. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, just to clear it up one more time, this is the reality, not how they're viewing you, but what you are actually represented as, okay? You are being represented as the sustainer and the forest, which is interesting because it's like vastly different than how your person is viewing you. And it doesn't necessarily mean that their view of you is inaccurate. It's just that these are your primary actual archetypes of what you are going through right now, if that makes sense, okay? So I'm not saying your person's perspective of you is wrong. I'm just saying that your dominant archetypes at this time are the sustainer and the forest. Um, and it's very interesting to me because what this is telling me is that right now you might be very, very devoted to your career or your finances or maintaining something. You might be like the head of a household. Maybe you have children or parents that you have to take care of um, or some kind of dependents or people that are looking at you like a leader um, to provide for them essentially, to provide food, shelter, monetary resources or something of that nature, something like that. Um, and it's interesting because with the secondary note, your secondary archetype um, or the confirming archetype, it's telling me that, yes, it seems like you're happy in this role right now, but there's part of you that's longing for more. It's almost like you want to break away from the mundane and having to always be the sustainer, the provider 
of things um, and actually go off on an adventure and have some fun and lighten your energy up a little bit. So maybe you've been going through the motions in life in general a lot recently and you haven't given yourself enough self-care time or maybe it's been a while since you've traveled or done something fun and adventurous um, but that's kind of like lurking under the surface right now you're doing a great job at whatever you're doing to take care of others and yourself um, but I think deep down inside you're really just looking for more you're looking for more excitement more fun more adventure and it's calling you and I feel like that's also brewing under the surface like soon you might actually be getting ready to travel or do something fun that you haven't done in a while to kind of break away from the mundane. So it's interesting because your person's energy, like their archetype seems a lot more heavy, like they're going through a pretty big shift, whereas you, your shift seems to be a lot more easy going for you at this time. Maybe you've already been through this rodeo and right now um, you're ready to enter into a new chapter of your life that's a little bit more lighthearted. So anyway, now, for the energy of the connection, I will also note that the gem wanted to come out. Um, I just was only going to take like two and two just to keep it easy, but I will note that the gem wanted to come out, and it's interesting because that pairs nicely with all the other stuff that's going on here, okay? Because we have the connection itself being represented as the heart, the medallion, and we'll also just throw the gem in there as well just because... Um, what that tells me is that this connection itself is a gift for both of you. And this is actually a very beautiful message because it's like these changes that both of you are actually going through right now, what's happening to both of you has been prompted by this connection itself, okay? And it's to help both of you to really heal your heart and to live a more fulfilling life. So it's almost like maybe the roles have shifted and um, before meeting this person or before deepening this connection, you guys kind of like flip-flopped. Maybe you were more in this energy and they were more in this energy. And there's something about this connection that is prompting both of you to undergo a pretty big change and balance out a little bit. Um, this connection itself is meant to heal your heart, to bring you a lot of love, a lot of joy to both of you. And it itself, the connection, is a gift, like a literal gift from God, from the universe, um, for your souls and for your personal development, essentially, from what I can see here. And there is an element of this connection also being something that has the potential to stand the test of time and be quite permanent if both of you choose to do that. This could be, so to speak, the love of your life, someone you could spend the rest of your life with. Um, if both of you just stop resisting the changes in the current and kind of just allow things to unfold how they're meant to. Um, there are and have been subtle notes throughout this reading um, that indicate that this connection is going to or already has reached a certain level of commitment, um, that maybe it is leading to a marriage or some type of a permanent long-term established relationship in the 3D, not just on an energetic level, but also in the 3D. So I want to note that to you. Now, anyway, let's hop on over to, um, let me think real quick, you guys. Like I said, this is a different style reading than I'm used to. Um, we already got a lot out about their thoughts and feelings and their experience. So honestly, you guys, I'm just going to hop straight into the channeled messages. Let's do that. Let's hop straight into some channeled messages from this person. Um, actually, you know what? You know what? We're going to do like a future outcome prediction. That's what we're going to do real quick. Let's, let's get out information of what the next chapter looks like between the two of you. And actually, I am going to use some tarot for this. Just a real quick glimpse into what the next chapter looks like between the two of you. Wow. Okay, we have the tower. Can you clarify the tower, please? What does this next chapter look like between these two? Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, <laughs> and then the back of the deck is the lovers. Okay, enough said, universe. I'm just going to leave it there. I will pull some oracle cards too, but geez louise. Okay, so 
In case you're new to the channel, in case you've never heard this speech before, I'm just gonna give it real briefly for you. I feel like sometimes towers get a very bad reputation um, and for good reason. You know, divorces or losses of a loved one or job loss or financial hardship can all be tower moments, right? But I think sometimes we forget that sometimes tower moments can be seemingly good things like a marriage, a union, meeting the love of your life, an engagement, the birth of a child, the birth of an enterprise, the beginning of a new business adventure for you. Um, essentially, the energy of the tower is something, um, you know, very reminiscent of the energy that's written on the card right here. It's a foundation that is getting broken down for something brand new to be rebuilt, okay? And so sometimes the event or the events that cause this tower moment can be good events. Um, and given that we have the tower first, the four of wands and the lovers, <laughs> With especially with what I literally just said, it seems to me like this what's coming in this next chapter between you and your person for some of you could literally involve marriage um, or like some kind of formally binding commitment to each other in the 3D that you're you're committed towards one another. Like this is actually your person, you're committed long term, you've made a choice to you know enter into a 3d union with this person whatever that means for you for some of you that doesn't mean marriage for some of you that means just giving yourselves the label of life partner towards one another but i gotta read what i'm seeing here and i mean we literally had the ring the vow the gem the heart all this coming out um and i noted it for a reason this connection could definitely be leading towards formal marriage now, um, or just like the equivalent of that, whatever that means for you. And we're talking about the next chapter here. So I see that happening during the next chapter of this connection. Basically, let's get out one or two Oracle cards to give any additional information about the next chapter. And then we're going to get channeled messages. Okay, we have true love coming out. A deep and enduring connection going beyond superficial attraction. And we also have dreams. Look to your dreams. They hold all the answers you seek. So maybe you've been having some kind of dreams about this, or this is going to be what you've always dreamed of. Um, and this is confirmation that, yes, this connection is true love, and this is leading to a very harmonious relationship with one another in the future. Um, just reading what the cards are saying, you guys. Although it's going to change your life forever, the next chapter that you're opening with this person is going to shift the way you live your life you know, at least for a time being until whatever the next chapter is, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a good tower though, from what I can see here, it seems like something that both of you are wanting. So very beautiful. Let's get out some channeled messages from this person to you now. Let's see what the heck they would say to you. And if you guys like this newish style of pop-up reading, um, if you don't mind giving me your feedback down below, I sure would appreciate that. Okay, it's time for me to heal now. So your person is definitely conscious of the fact that they have some stuff they need to work on. Okay, um, I don't think that's them telling you that they need to walk away from you in order to do this. I think that they're just wanting you to know that they acknowledge that there's some things they need to change and work through. That they're not perfect. Um, in fact, I think your person is being overly critical on themselves. Okay, but they're aware that there are some things that they need to heal. You are the best thing in my life. Um, and you can flip that to R if the two of you are happy together right now and this isn't a past person, um, which I honestly, I don't feel like you're in separation from this person. Maybe you could be, I don't know, take the messages as they resonate for you. But I do feel like this person thinks that you are an awesome person in their life. They value you a lot. Okay, we also have you speak to me through music. So, maybe you literally communicate with this person through music. That could be something that's important to this connection. Um, you could share songs with each other, playlists. Maybe you are a musician and you literally play music for this person. Um, take that how it resonates. It could also be that maybe that's an important sign or synchronicity that comes through in this connection and you both recognize that or your person recognizes that. Maybe the two of you share special songs and they follow this person around or something like that. 
Um, take it how it resonates. And then we also have, I hide my feelings. And yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, I think your person, you know, I don't think that they're totally unemotional towards you. It's just that some of the deeper feelings, I think they didn't realize they had until like recently and they're surfacing now and they might not even have been conscious that they hid their feelings and it's all kind of just like hitting them all at once. I miss hearing your voice. Again, if you're still talking to this person, that could just be saying that they just really long for you all the time. Um, the way that they view you seems to be very magnetic. They're very pulled into you and your energy. So it could even be like the second you walk away from them, they're already missing you. Um, maybe they're also very attracted to your voice and the way you speak. That could be important to them. And they also want you to know that they're, they won't let you down. I won't let you down. This person is determined to keep, you know, chugging along, putting this inner work on themselves and um, making this connection work, whatever that takes. Let's get out a few more messages from them. What else would this person have to say, please? This one really wants to come out. We have water sign. Um, and I do think I mentioned that earlier. So maybe that's confirmation for you that you or your person could be water signs um, or one of you is or has dominant water energy in your charts. Uh, could also just be saying again, because um, your person, both their perspective of themselves and reality was very watery energy. They're just very emotional right now. They're going through a big emotional change and that's come through a lot in this connection or I mean in this reading so far. So just saying, um, there's a lot of emotional energy going on. I have wounds you don't know about. And I think that these are surfacing for your person right now, whether they like it or not. Um, they're becoming more aware of this. Um, this just fell to the floor. So just so you're aware, I can't handle this. I'm not seeing that as them saying they can't handle this connection. I'm just telling you like, they're having a lot of stuff surface right now, especially emotional wounds and patterns and stuff like that. It's very difficult for them to process. It's a lot. I don't think they've experienced this type of an awakening before um, and they feel a bit overwhelmed, okay? But at the same time, they're determined. So this isn't them saying that they're giving up, that they just like throw in the towel and this is done. They're, they're just letting you know that they're overwhelmed. They know they need to heal. They're becoming more aware of it. They might be fighting the current a little bit here and there, but they're determined to work through this. They're not going to let you down. Um, they know what they have to do. So, okay. We also have you shine so bright. This person really respects you a lot, and they, they just really feel like you're a beautiful presence in their life. They're very grateful for you. Okay, let's get out some more messages. Let's do one or two, please, spiritual team. One or two more messages from this person. Yeah, we have them so confused. <laughs> that would make sense. I think they're very, they're very overwhelmed right now. This person is very, very overwhelmed. Okay, we also have I have big news. Maybe they're getting ready to share some of this with you, some of their experience and what's been going on with them. Okay. And then we have the passion is so intense. So yeah, this person is, um, duh. I mean, I feel like I said that pretty much right away in your reading. The passion is intense for them. The, you know, the chemistry and the magnetism is a lot for them. Maybe more than they've ever experienced before. And um, they just want to let you know that. We also have I hide my feelings because I'm scared. Um, and then I hide my feelings right there. So I do feel like your person suppresses some things and some of that I don't think they were consciously doing in the past. Maybe they just um, didn't have the emotional intelligence to be able to articulate what was going on within them. And that's one of the lessons the universe is serving them right now is how to manage their emotions and understand them, okay? Because emotional intelligence is a beautiful thing to have. You can feel all these feelings, but if you don't know what to do with them, you don't know how to articulate them, or um, process things, it can, you know, it's difficult, okay? Um, okay. That's a blank, by the way. 
I'm seeing the word sun. So I do think you make this person very, very happy and maybe they make you very happy as well. I can see that coming out. I'm also seeing the word lust. Okay, so it could be that maybe this person just feels very attracted to you, which is clear as day. Maybe you feel that way towards them as well. Um, that's all I'm seeing right now, honestly, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get some charms out. Let's get out some charms. We have a couple more letters to add to the letter pool. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a W, but I mean, I suppose you can also make it an M. So it's an M or a W. And then we have another L coming out here to add over there. Um, oh yeah, lost. I just saw lost. Maybe this person is, yeah, I mean, they're very confused right now. They're going through a hard time, okay? Um, maybe they were like a daydreamer, head in the clouds, easygoing type of person, and now they can't avoid their feelings anymore. Um, they might think about you and this connection a lot at night. We have the moon coming out. Um, we also have a turtle. Yeah, this person had a tendency to hide away their feelings their emotions and I don't think they were aware that they were doing that before I think that's news to them maybe they thought that they were more surface level and they're a lot deeper than they knew they were and that's coming up now um, then we have peace this person does really desire to have peace with you in this connection and I think that's reciprocated we also have a cross so um, there could be a shift in like religious beliefs or changes or maybe the two of you come from different spiritual or religious backgrounds or something like that um, we also have a key coming out here, a flower key. So flowers might be important for some reason in this connection. Um, could also be that maybe the two of you kind of hold keys, not just to each other's hearts, but to like helping each other heal. This connection was probably brought together to help both of you heal um, and make some important changes. All right. Now, what we're going to do is get out some messages just for you to seal off the reading. Could relate to this connection or not i like to leave this portion of the reading open-ended if you enjoy my readings and you watch them on a regular basis i do have a youtube membership and um, a patreon membership and those have different exclusive readings so if you feel like checking that out it's about five dollars a month or 555 a month um, and you can go over there information is going to be down below in the description box your first message when going through tough times, it's important to remember that nothing up to this point has defeated you. You've overcome challenges before. Be kinder to yourself and be thankful for all that you already have. Your time is coming. Everything is coming together for you, but you must meet the universe halfway. Hold only a bright and happy vision of yourself with successful outcomes and don't allow your fears or insecurities to stand in your way. Beautiful messages. The last thing we're going to do is split the deck. I'm grabbing out an affirmation for you. If you would like to claim this affirmation and the energy, I invite you to read it out loud, write it down, or type it below in the comments. Today, I am healthy. Today, my mind, my heart, and my soul are one healthy being. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you have yourself a beautiful and blessed day as always, and I'd love to see you around the channel again in the future. Bye for now.